Uh, we came today just to attend to the tiling. There is one tile that was not really installed properly. Uh, well, we felt we needed to correct it by the shower trap. And we removed that tile uh, so that we can give a neat finishing there by the tiling area of the shower trap. And also, we had a problem with the water water not coming out on our basin in the bathroom and we have sorted it out so the water water is now coming out and the tower has been removed uh, the guys are busy replacing it now and then there was just a small small tower perhaps 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter on the door that had come out it came out as a result of the installation of the door that they were doing the other day when we came here and there was a small crack as well so we we also busy we are replacing that so those are the three uh, areas that brought us here today so it's just to show our clients that we take serious uh, our after sales services whenever there is a problem we quickly come and sort it out hence we offer a guarantee on our work yeah so our plumbers are always on standby to come and attend to anything it wasn't a big thing at all it was just something to do with the geezer at the back where it just needed to turn uh, on on one of the pipes and then release the water to the tank and then the water water started to flow to the tank uh, to the to the pipe also that directs to the basin yeah so that's what we're doing uh, but overall in terms of the uh, work that was done and in terms of the assessment yeah the house is looking good there's no any problem uh, it is only for the client to for them to do their own railings which is the last finishing part that i see here but um, we have a very good plumber and a very good electrician everything works perfectly well we're just waiting for the electrician to give us or to submit us with the uh, COC, the Certificate of, uh, of Compliance for Electrical. Uh, the paving has dried nicely. So that is the paving that we did here. Yeah? So yeah, it's looking good. Uh, that is the side where the manual is. It's, the pipes are buried underground, which I think they will have to plant some grass there. But this paving uh, looks very good with its grips on the t uh, for the tires. Mm -hmm because you don't need to make it very smooth, as you can see, and it, it leads directly to the existing garage here. Yeah, and then when we left here, it was too dry on this part, but it was too wet rather, now it's dry. So it's just forming the same pattern, the same pattern with this other ramp uh, and um, passage walkway, if you call it that. <coughs> yeah, so it's looking good. Yeah, so this is the aisle that they would, um, they would use for the purposes of accessing this side. Uh, these were requested, like I said, by the client that we leave them like that. Uh, uh, dogs, uh, I don't know if it's correct to say footprint. <laughs> Still looking for the right word. The ramps, everything, they were painted, outside ramps. Uh, on this part, there was uh, clearing that was done, and then uh, there used to be a window here on that uh, there on that side. So when they removed it, there was a lot of soil that was there. Then it was taken here, it was filled here so that the client can plant their grass in future or lawn. Same thing with this side. We did that as well, and then we also managed to uh, level around this area so it's it's their work in progress as clients now if they, as you can see it's not 100 percent on level that can be done when they want to plant something taking the other soil over there cutting and compacting and filling and leveling so yeah so that is outside of the house they're quite a beautiful house.
that's how it looks like uh, we've been updating our clients uh, with regards to this structure for quite some time but uh, just short since i'm here today let me just do another video uh, the house sits on uh, elevated position very elevated to almost two meters from the ground yes uh, so that guy there he's one of the guys we work with he's just busy preparing the grout and the uh, the, the, the tower cement rather to replace that tower inside yeah so yeah that's 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 all that is there to see just came to attend to these issues yeah the bathroom kitchen sink and cupboard so on the kitchen sink and cupboard is a double kitchen sink and cupboard. Everything is working perfectly here. The wash water and cold water. Yeah. And that's the bathroom there. That's the toilet pot. Uh, it's a closed cupboard -to toilet pot. Yeah. A full bathroom tiling. There's a light and an extractor fan. Uh, this is where the tower was, the one that we came to correct. So we yeah, have to just replace the tower. And then here, yeah, that's where there's a problem with the hot water. It's now coming out. The uh, water is flowing. And this is the cold water. So that has been attended to. Extractor fan working perfectly, the light working perfectly. Cleaned all the tiles uh, the last time we were here. So, this is where we want to fix because apparently there was a cutting that was here that we cannot nicely. And because of the shower trap was a bit uh, inside, so we're trying to see if we can flush and level the tile to be. Uh, shower trap so that the finishing part when it comes out comes out nice that's what we are trying to do because at the end we want to, to have a nice finishing here yeah, that's what we are trying to do something that flashes like what we are seeing here, but more inside and then it flashes nicely whilst it's in the inside so that's what we're trying to do here and also just to attend around here to see what we can do here and then here there was a crack that happened so we're replacing this tile okay so this is the cutting so this is the cutting that we replaced there so basically that's all we came to attend to yeah, that's all we came to attend to today. Yeah, the toilet seat is alright. There was a bit of a complaint about it, but it's alright. We fixed it last time. Because it was just flipping out, uh, in and out. It was not stable as it is, if one wants to leave it uh, standing as it is. But now you can see it's solid, and uh, if one decides to close it also, it's solid. Yeah, so that's what we are doing. Just to give you the perspective of the work here. Yeah. Um, like what we normally tell our clients that we do after sales services, we always come because we offer guarantee and warranty. Should, uh, should there be any problem, we are a phone call away. Attend to these things. All these challenges. The door was installed last time we came. Yeah. Yeah. So we're still trying to see to it that we give a hundred percent finishing. Yeah. But otherwise, that's the direction of where we are going or what we want to do. Which is a big improvement from what was there. We're still working on that area. 
Ja. ja sehr, 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 sehr. Ich, 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 ich.